Hi you guys, it's your girl Hannah B and I am coming to you for another video. I know I have been somewhat absent from my channel, but you know what? I put a video up about that already. If you haven't seen it, it's going to be linked at the end as always. And um yeah, let's let's get on with the video. So today's video is going to be a get ready with moi but it's going to be a story time get ready with me so this will be my first time trying to do my makeup and hold a conversation at the first time so at the first time at the same time so you guys please bear with me give me you know like some some time to get it together eventually over time i will become way better at putting on makeup and talking i literally cannot multitask unless i'm talking about my makeup it's terrible actually if you're wondering what happened to my hair well this is my hair i actually am a hundred percent natural you guys will definitely be getting a sneak peek at my hair but not even a sneak peek because i'm definitely gonna like take this off at the end of the video so you guys are gonna be seeing my hair and seeing what it looks like so yeah usually i would be saying um stick around to see how i got this look but for the first time ever i'm starting a video off without a look so let's get into the video so today's story if you have not already read the title which you should have by now and that's why you're here is about me getting pepper sprayed or maced or whatever you want to call it by the police this happened while i was in high school i was actually in the 11th grade and just to give you guys like a little backstory of me in high school and what going out was like literally i had two best friends and if they didn't go i couldn't go anywhere period me and this guy from private school let's give him a name let's call him matthew me and matthew somehow reconnected i honestly oh we reconnected on facebook and basically we started dating we're fast we're fast forward to second semester it's like january there's a girl that i have been in i think i've only been in high school with her and she uh, once she got to high school she started having these huge uh birthday parties in january and they were like a big deal my mom finally lets me go to one of these parties i knew that matthew was going and so i was like you know everybody kind of knows each other from private school because she did start out private school uh her high school years over there and then she came back into um public school like me so i was like cool you know he's going i'll be with somebody i know it's gonna be okay and i'll be with like the other people from private school that i know my mom says yes and I get a chance to go with my boyfriend. This is where things kind of get a little out of control. We're kind of in the back. We're off to ourselves, you know, doing what couples do, making out, whatever. We're out, we're partying or whatever. And these guys start fighting and it gets broken up. And so her dad comes on the mic and it's like, you know, y'all can't really be doing that. Are we going to shut the party down? You know, being sensible. The, the fighting stops. Like it's supposed to so we dancing and um they're fighting and then the next thing i know chairs are being thrown i got the hell out the way matthew did nothing wrong in this fight he literally picked me up and threw me on top of the table so that i would be out of the way and i was out of the way for a very long time until there were these yellow clouds being released into the ballroom. But guess who was still on the table? Literally nobody's around me other than regular other people trying to get out of the way of the fight. But for whatever reason, I get a whole can of mace in my direct. At this point, I don't know where the hell Matthew is, okay? We are not together. I ran to the bathroom with the other girls and this one gay guy. And he was making jokes like, you know, LOL. You know, what if they started shooting? 
and he was yelling like oh they shooting like you know it's high school party it's not that serious or they're fighting now he goes out he comes back in he's literally like nah bitches they shooting outside these mad ass 15 year olds are outside shooting okay <laughs> um hello not really i don't know what to do at this point there is no matthew Matthew is not around. <laughs> we have not seen Matthew in a good 10 minutes. But he is texting me and he is looking for me. So a pass, maybe, not really. I was just kind of like, dang, like it was getting late, but we had like a whole extra hour of partying still left. And this was my first time getting out the house like ever in my life. I'm freaking the hell out because I don't really do guns. So I am texting my mom and letting her know that, you know, they are fighting, they're shooting, I got covered in pepper spray, um, I need my inhaler, blah, 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 and she's just like, okay, well, where is Matthew? And I'm like, girl, I don't know. She's like, okay, well, I'm coming to get you. And it was her and her boyfriend at the time. They did pull up and rescue me. By this time, I've been able to make it somewhat outside. Everybody is still pretty much low to the ground because these guys are literally less than 50 feet away from us shooting at each other, okay? I'm like, cool, you know, if this is the day I go out, I guess I'm going out at somebody's party, lame as hell. My mom's boyfriend at the time, um, is like texting me or calling me or whatever like where where are you and i'm like you know like i'm pretty much i don't know where i am but i know i'm close to the the front of the building and i don't want to basically i don't want to walk out by myself you know everybody is scared because these hood rats are have gotten on the worst side of each other's nerves he comes and he gets me i get walked to my mom's car and as i am walking to her car I'm realizing that the, there's a guy literally standing less than 10 feet from her car on these bricks shooting straight forward and I'm just like oh there goes one of the culprits it kind of settles into my mind that well if he's shooting that way that means somebody is shooting at him this way which is also the way we are walking which is also the way that we are standing i look up and i notice that somebody is indeed shooting his direction and so he ain't really talking but he's talking like you know y'all need to get out of here you know this isn't uh where y'all need to be at like it's real it's it's real out here basically is what he's saying and i'm just like oh okay so he's somewhat responsible of a potential murderer you know he's responsible and so I'm just like, I'm talking to my mom. I'm just like, yo, tonight was mad crazy. You know, uh, I got maced or I got pepper sprayed or maced or whatever by the police. Um, I don't really think they know what they did or whatever because I'm definitely asthmatic AF. And then I look over and she's just like kind of lightheartedly like, oh, you know, this is your first party experience and... You know this is how parties are this is how they can be sometimes and just kind of like this is why i didn't let you out the house type type of deal because she didn't want me like to see this type of stuff but you know what i would have saw it anyway because college those are other stories for other days that's that's pretty much what happened but yeah that's um this is my hair she is only jailed down um, if you guys want to see like a full me and fro action, I am oftentimes all froed up on Instagram. So follow me on my all of my social medias at Hannah Bedell W. That's it. No spaces, no underscores, no periods, no little decimals, no none of that. All of that together. Hannah Bedell W. Not having an asthma attack and not getting shot are the, shot are the two most triumphant um things that happened from that party so yeah that is pretty much the end of my video make sure you rate comment and subscribe leave a comment down below let me know if you're feeling my new intro or not and i'll be sure to maybe change intros or i don't know like i'm working on that i'm working on branding and investing in myself so let me know how you guys feel about the new intro and um
yeah that's it bye